And we continue with the Christmas series with the 12th day of Christmas tide, January 5th. My mother is the only Christian in the family. Everyone else is Buddhist because we're Cambodian. For most of my life, we've gone to church on Sundays, and that was pretty much it. However, I did remember an instance when I was maybe 9 or 10. She took me to the Buddhist temple near the university area, and it was New Year's. Uh, oh, our, our New Year's was in the spring. So, anyway, we brought food and sat down as we listened to the monk preach, and then watched all the young kids chase around and douse each other with water. I was wearing a suit, so I wasn't too keen in getting wet, and f thankfully, I didn't get splashed. But it's a memory that stayed with me all these years. As it's one of those last memories was where Dad was in the picture before he walked out a year later and never came back. I was watching Bajarao Mastani a few months back and remember a scene where Mastani's son is born and Bajarao wants his son to be named in the Hindu ceremony. The priest refuses and so Bajarao declares that his son will be raised a Muslim and he can worship Allah as well as Krishna. It made me go back to the day when my mother took me to the Buddhist temple. It felt a lot like syncretism. She was blending Catholicism with Buddhism practices. I mean, for her, it was a no-brainer. It was a cultural thing. This anchored her to her homeland and family. But I didn't have that point of reference. I was totally immersed in Western Christian values. For me, it wasn't abhorrent, but it was odd. And it's not uncommon. I mean, you hear how people in South and Central America and the Caribbean blend Christianity with their native practices and it seems to not raise an issue. I mean, they can worship God as well as whatever deity they worship on the side. I mean, and how hard can that be? Well, it's a way to tie ourselves to our roots and never forget. But isn't this colonization then? We appeal to Christianity not due to sincerity, but because it's expected of us. We experience less stigma if we pray to Jesus. I mean, if you read in history, people forced religion on defeated population and put incentives for people to follow said religion and abandon the old ones. I mean, it's very much a Christian thing as it is a Muslim one or any other one for that matter. So should I forsake it because it had been forced on me and my family? Or was there sincerity in the belief that I could cling to it wholeheartedly? Shall we destroy the altars to the ancestors and declare ourselves only for Jesus? Then for me, the message becomes all the more clear. To abandon your family, hate your mother and father, all for the sake of the kingdom. For if the kingdom is worth the abandonment, then we must not fear losing them if we truly wish to seek out God and be one with him for eternity.